Today we will show how to configure uh, a genius and super genius in Visual Cytex Scheduler. So first we will configure a new program here in the Cytex. Okay. After that I will configure the communication between the SCADA and the VLC. In the first, I will go to the system and configure a username, uh, Hamad, for example, add. Okay, then after that, I will go to communication and open the express wizard. <coughs> this will, will help, me, help me to do the communication between the VLC and between the SCADA system. Okay, next. My uh, my new I/O server is named is I/O server. I will change it to test three. Next, I/O device. Okay. Next. After that, I will choose the PLC system that will be connected to the SCADA. So my system is uh, M340 Schneider Electric, and here it is the simulated PLC. So I will configure M340 and the unit is Modbus TCP Ethernet. Next, now I will configure the IP address for the unit. For example, my IP address is this one, okay, because I simulated the BLC. So I will configure here 127.0.0.1 and the port will be 5.0.2. Okay, next, next, okay, and that is all for the communication, okay, we have uh, another thing to do also here, we can go to the communication and open the cluster and add a new cluster, for example, test 3 also, okay, add it, we can now show this communication, open board and board, Again, here, boards and boards and IO device. Okay, okay. Here, the cluster name will be test three, and that is all. Replace. So after that we will go to the now to configure the tags I will use in the program. So for example I will use the three tags here. I, I, I am going to the graphics first pages and I create a new page. Uh, my page is a blank page so I go up and choose this one. Okay. After that I configure my devices mm, here like this and like this okay after that, I will configure the tag to test the communication. For example, motor and will equal one. And the up symbol, if the motor is zero, this will show for me. And if the motor is one, this will show for me. Okay. Now variable text not found. Do you wish to add a new uh, unknown text? Okay, I will. The motor. The cluster name is test and the IO device name device, the data type digital and the address is MW .4. Okay, and this address is from here. Okay, 0 0.1 sorry. So 0 0.1 okay. Eight. 
and I will configure also a two push buttons, one for start and one for stop. Start, <coughs> the start one will be down and up. Start will equal one in the down and start will equal zero at the up. Okay, and we'll apply it. Now I will define this tag also. The start will be in the test and IO device and the address will be M0.0 .0. okay as shows here M0.0 okay add okay and here the stop push button stop push button it will be also stop here and here and also I will define the new tag at the stop for the cluster test 3 and IO device and the address is M0.4 and W0 sorry Okay, now compile. I will save the page, page one in the program. After that, I will compile the program. I have two errors. Go to uh, no data type here, digital. Okay, replace and also for the stop it's digital replace and now it is ok we can compile again ok now no error before we go to the runtime we need to do setup wizard here from this icon computer setup wizard that's allow the configuration between the VLC and the SCADA system next next standalone system next Next, finish. Then I am going to the runtime and start it. Page one, okay. Start, stop. Start, stop. And now the program in the SCADA it will be affected by this one, okay. Start, we can show here, okay. Stop also we can show this one okay this is the introduction of our topic <coughs> our topic now we will create a genius and super genius to control this motor if we have a multiple devices like this one so i will go to create a genius a genius is like a symbol of the motor to create a multiple devices so here from here going here a new device genius after that i will select the motor here also motor base okay and here also motor base okay and the motor to refer to the actual tag motor I will do this between percentage motor okay will equal one okay apply and the text here the tag of the motor tag name of the motor also between percentage sign okay after that I will do update pages okay and save the genius with the name motor 
in the library of motors okay okay then I will open my page page one and I will best my genius here motor so I have two tags to add now motor and tag name that I will configure early in this genius the motor will take motor tag and tag name will be the name of the motor for example M505 for example so this is my genius when I am going to online again start so my genius is now connected to this also so now I it is easy to do this for a lot of motors for example motor one another motor here with the same tag motor but another tag name this also here so I can do a lot of motors with this genius configuration <clears throat> okay now start all of them will start because the motor tag is the same here but the tag name is different so now we will and this is about the genius configuration now I will connect the genius to a super genius that will be start and stop for all of these motors and let us show how I will do it okay uh, at first I'll, I will go here new then super genius then I will find this area what I need in this area I need also start stop for the motor okay start I need a stop push button okay and I need <coughs> close or window closing like this okay and also I need a symbol for the motor to show up when the motor is on or off okay now let us connect this super genius to the genius so my start will be the input here up and down also will be between question mark so one it is the first tag okay equal on here and the first tag one will be equal zero when I up my hand from the mouse okay and here for the stop also the same configuration but will take the tag number two in the super genius will equal one here okay and in the up configuration will equal zero okay and this lamp will take the number three in the motor so between question marks also number three between question mark will equal one when the number three is rising up this will be changed from black to red okay and also I need to close the window after I finished so when I click down mouse I will do a psi code when free for closing this window okay and this now my super genius I need to connect this super genius to my genius so let's see how I will do this okay I will name it you must do like this first and then the your name super 
homogeneous okay save it okay and then update save it also and then I will go to the genius and open my motor and I will be here to add a cycle function so when I click down mouse I need to do this when yes this will open the window okay this window will take the super genius super genius okay between quotation mark here the pixel is x 400 and y 400 okay the mode is will be 1 plus 8 plus 64 plus like this okay and I, w I have three tags the first tag is the start and the second tag is the stop and the third tag is the motor status so I will configure it like this stored okay here will be stop stop and here is the motor okay now this psychot function will open the super genius this one and will replace the tag number one with the start and tag number two with the stop and tag number three with motor so I need also to configure a windows title like this when title and the name of the windows title is uh... okay then I will apply this and then I will go here to edit and attach super genius for this one plus add and found my super genius here okay and plus okay after that I will go to file and uh, combine my project okay, no errors I close this one save first close this and go to the test number 3 and here computer set up wizard again like this <coughs> okay open the page and now you will find here for each super genius a three text motor and start and stop for this one I will take start here and stop here and tag name is M 507 then I'm going to the online mode okay I have error here I'm going to the, this error
complex is not configured here so I need to configure it again so go to this one okay here the start and the stop configuration okay I need to do it for this motor so I will go here close this one okay and go to the beige one and I will remove this and this and also keep this one now I found the error and I will uh, I fix it now my motor is here so I am going to go to online page one okay now this window is for this motor start will start the motor stop will stop the motor close I will close the window and this is all things so we learned in this video how to configure the genius and the super genius for visual Cytex SCADA system for Schneider Electric thank you and see you